Today's topic is Clostridium difficile colitis, or C. difficile colitis. Clostridium difficile colitis is an inflammation of the colon that is caused by an infection with a Clostridium difficile, a bacteria found throughout the environment, in the soil, air, water, food products such as processed meat, and even human and animal feces. The bacteria release multiple toxins that attack the lining of the colon and cause severe damage to the colon itself. Infections with the Clostridium difficile happen everywhere in the world. In 2011, about 453,000 cases of Clostridium difficile infections occur in the United States, resulting in about 29,000 deaths. Clostridium difficile colitis can result in complications, such as pseudomembranous colitis, or patches of severe inflammation and pus in the colon, a hole in the colon, dehydration, toxic megacolon, where the colon is unable to expel gas and stool, and even death. Causes Clostridium difficile colitis is caused by an infection with a Clostridium difficile bacteria. Clostridium difficile bacteria is spread by spores found in feces. These spores can spread to food and other surfaces and objects when people who are infected don't wash their hands properly. These spores can persist in a room for weeks or months, where a person can then get infected after touching infected surfaces and then unknowingly eating or rubbing their face with their hands. C. difficile infection is mostly associated with hospitals and other health facilities, where workers are more likely to come in contact with it and pass it from room to room. It is also associated with recent antibiotics use. The intestine usually contains many bacteria that keep it healthy and prevent the body from infections. When antibiotics are taken to treat an infection, these drugs may destroy normal, healthy bacteria alongside the bacteria for which the antibiotics were taken in the first place. Without enough healthy bacteria, C. difficile can quickly grow in the intestine, where they release toxins that attacks the lining of the intestine, causing inflammation in the colon. Risk factors may include older adults in health facilities, especially if they are taking antibiotics, taking antibiotics, having serious illness such as inflammatory bowel disease, certain cancers, having a weakened immune system, a previous infection with the bacteria, recent gastrointestinal surgery. Symptoms. Diarrhea containing blood or pus, weight loss, fever, nausea with or without vomiting, abdominal pain and cramping, abnormal heartbeat if you become dehydrated. Diagnosis and treatment. The condition is always suspected in people with diarrhea who have recently taken antibiotics or who developed diarrhea a few days after hospitalization. To confirm a diagnosis, a sample of your stool is collected to be tested for the bacteria. This is done by testing for the toxins that the bacteria produce or by detecting its DNA. A colonoscopy may also be carried out to examine the inside of your colon to look for areas of inflammation. Abdominal x-ray may also be recommended to provide images of the colon. These can detect the presence of complications associated with the condition. Treatment Treatment options include certain antibiotics that target C. difficile, including metronidazole, phytoxomycin, vancomycin. These antibiotics keep C. difficile from growing. For people with certain complications, surgery may be carried out to remove the affected portion of the colon. This might be the only option in such cases. For people with repeated cases of the condition, probiotics, which are organisms such as yeast and bacteria, which help restore a healthy balance to the intestinal tract, may be recommended. A fecal transplant can also be done. In this procedure, stool from a donor is placed into your colon. The healthy bacteria in your donor's stool help to get rid of the bacteria and restore health to your colon. This treatment option is not yet approved by the FDA, as it is still under study. To prevent the condition, always wash your hands.
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.